Hi, this is Jamal Rahman and I'm on AHI today talking about Kanayari and its one year anniversary from Coke Studio 14. <music> Hi, this is Amna and we're here to talk about music. When you talk about music, of course, what comes to mind but Coke Studio. Or Coke Studio 14 jata pichle saal, it was spectacular. It was, its impact was so colossal that it was like this volcano that just erupted and spilled over all across the world. I always say that Coke Studio is our best cultural export. There's no doubt about it. But pichle saal jata, it was the biggest we've seen in I think a decade. It was huge. And other than the obvious big hit Pasuri, there was Kanayari that I think had the impact of Kanayari was absolutely dynamic. Featuring folk artists Wahab Bukti and Kefi Khalil, who's huge right now, and our favorite rapper from Layari, Eva B, the video was so good and the song was so good. And you know, it started conversations and it had covers and it had the spin offs. And we saw the quick style rendition of the song, and Kanayari was huge. That video was huge as well. And today, we're really lucky to be sitting with Jamal Rahman, somebody who directed and conceptualized the video. Jamal, thank you for giving us time. Thank you we're for having me. We're celebrating one year of Kanayari, right? Yeah. And it's, it's risen gradually on the charts, as in the top three yeah. videos from last year, top three songs from Coke Studio 14. And it's beaten Tujum. Yes. And it's at 52 million hits right now. Yes, it is. And it's, it's, but it's been huge. Other than the numbers, yeah. the impact of Kanayari and the way it's brought Balochi artists into the limelight and in such a contemporary cool way. Yeah. And you have a role to play in that. You have such a big role. I'm very fortunate to actually have a role to play in that. Um, you know, for me, it was when we were coming up with the concept and everything, it was all about taking who these people are, who these artists are, Kefi Khalil, Eva B and Wahab Bukti, and really amplifying their coolness, mm. not kind of trying to get them to fit into some other mold of what a, a would-be music superstar needs to be. You know, yeah. these are people that have an inherent cool, and that cool is rooted in our culture, which is something that I was really happy and proud to see. Right. And so, in my conversations with Zulfi, we both kind of decided, uh, he initially kind of gave me his vision about how Kanayari can be uh, mm. an incredibly big song. Um, and through those conversations, I really kind of wanted that their personalities really come out. You right. know? And uh, when I first met Kefi, he's a very sort of quiet, very soft-spoken soul. But he has this kind of, it's, it's right below the surface, he has this aura of, yeah. uh, of extra cool. You know what I mean? Totally, um, totally. Yeah. So, so for me, uh, taking that and kind of utilizing... Uh, a sort of authentic lens into who these people are. Mm. I wanted to conceive a project uh, for the video around it. Right. Yeah. And you know, the thing is that w w what I found interesting was when you pick up folk artists or yeah. relatively unknown artists at that time, they weren't that known. There's this risk of becoming wannabe. There's right. a risk of becoming a wannabe cool or right. wannabe urban. Wo nahi hai video mein bilkul bhi. Bilkul. Yeah. That's exactly what mm. I mean. So just being authentic to Absolutely. what these people stand for, where they come from, what their music is, who they are, their personalities. Bilkul. Um, and, and, you know, I think it really shows in the way that they were able to perform and be themselves mm. in the video. Uh, that, that has come across really powerfully. I'll give you an example. Uh, I got several phone calls uh, from people who didn't know Eva. Right. Why did you put her in the niqab? I said, well, I didn't actually. That's who she is. That's, who she That's is. her identity. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, before we even got to know of her, she'd yeah. already been producing music Absolutely. in that, uh, with that identity. And that's not something we either had the right or even wanted to take away mm. from her. You know, we wanted to kind of take that and then really kind of project it and amplify yeah, it. And yeah. um, so if you see her sort of wardrobe, mm. it's very much the niqab, but it's also very much of today, you know, yeah. it's very much sort of... It's very contemporary. It's very contemporary. It's inspired by... Uh, we had a sort of color palette that I guess we can talk about uh, later when it comes yeah. to the concept, uh, that we wanted to have her sort of pop out of, you know, mm. sort of start from a place where she sort of merges out of the shadows, mm. out of a similar plane of color, and then kind of walks through mm. all the other sort of contemporary and uh, split right, tones. Right. And so, so that's something that really we thought, you know, would help um, again, amplify her identity. Identity. Yeah. Jamal, how long does it take to make a video of this kind? 
बिकॉज इससे पहले कुक स्टूडियो वॉज ऑलवेज स्टूडियो सेशन यू नो एक सेट लगा दिया एक स्टैटिक सेट होता था उसमें सब खड़े होते थे and i guess i'm not a technical person but sound ke liye you had these barriers so that there wasn't any echo or anything right. but this was completely different very different dafa. yeah and so why who decided of course it was collaborative everybody must have come on board for it but why the videos i mean kya tha what was the concept behind it what well, so um i guess credit goes to zulfi because he contacted me in july of uh, 21 Right. And said, you know, I'm doing Coke Studio right. and I'd love for you to do a, a video or two and we're going to be doing a different set different concept for every mm. single song because you want to break out of um that sort of one recognizable one set right. situation. And that kind of obviously opened the door to limitless possibilities. So every right. song in essence uh would be able to dictate what its visual accompaniment would be mm-hmm. and that obviously kind of helps to elevate the material right yeah. um and if the video is done in a way that really kind of fits in emotionally with with uh, ju- not just the message but mm-hmm. also the vibe mm-hmm. of the music it just becomes that much more uh you know than than the sum of its effective. parts effective yeah much the more effective the impact is much more yes. absolutely yeah. and we're seeing a lot of videos come up these days we will talk about those later yeah. but back to kana yari how long was the entire process because aajkal to 2 mahine mein log film bana lete hain bilkul bilkul feature film ban jati yeah. hai and you're very, you're very heading true. to in that direction as well right yeah so we worked on and off uh from july till about uh september yeah. really um but obviously because no, there's two months uh, two three months july or october about four, three and a half four three months, and a half, four months say, yeah. yeah um but that was because also um Zulfi and team were working with several other teams mm. so we would kind of do rounds right right uh, and come around to that but really um i think if we put it all together i would say we spent about 3 weeks on it 3 weeks on it but it was yeah. quite a technical set with the walls going in and out and right. the spaces opening up and yeah. you know the camera was constantly moving from room to room yeah. so it was like kafi Do you need so to be like I, an architect I, to kind of design this kind of thing. So or? none of this has ever happened in Pakistan before. Huh. I have this thing where every project I do, I want to be able to challenge some norm, something and bring something new to it. Right. Um for my concept, um when I first heard the song, I had several conversations with Kefi who wrote the lyrics. Um uh, about what the song is about. So mm-hmm. Kanayari is about friendship, yeah, friendship and betrayal, gain, loss, yeah, betrayal. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I wanted to sort of use um storytelling tactics to really break that down into a concept and the concept that I came up with was when you initially meet someone you have this facade or this sort of first person first contact of of mm. of your personality right um and as you get to know that person you peel back the layers and right. you become more and more authentic right. to who you are and less you know sort of guarded mm. and i wanted to kind of have that uh represent its uh, be sort of representative in the set mm. so if you notice all the rooms have a different color different vibe and as the set opens up yeah. that's a metaphor for a person opening, opening up which up, is essentially yeah. what the Breaking song is about walls and opening yeah, up yeah 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 so wanted to kind of take that and and you know build that into a set so it was very challenging because um Hashim Ali who designed the set itself yeah. had to come up with a mechanism huh. for those sliding walls yeah. i actually initially wanted that we lift the wall, walls vertically right. every right. which way right but he's like listen we're going to need a lot of machinery for that and huh. we don't have that kind of tech in the country huh. uh so we couldn't unfortunately do that but um you know this was the next best hmm. uh, scenario so it took a lot of planning in that regard um lots of back and forth we went to three iterations of two iterations of the set um and we finally kind of settled on this one and i have a i'm very sort of precise in the things that in in the way that i envision a mm. video so i had pre-charted and choreographed everything according to the song right. on a timeline right and kind of timed everyone's movement mm. around the set including the camera mm. so it was all sort of like a choreographed dance in that sense mm. where uh Kefi Neva especially because they were moving had to hit their marks at a certain point this is where the verse ends you right. have to exit through this right. door at this point if you touch this wall then the camera has to swivel around yeah. catch you over here then catch you over here so it yeah. was very um it was like a dance essentially and Faraz yeah. Alam who was the steady cam op really had to kind of get into the flow of moving yeah. with uh the performers so it was really fun that way it was fun and it was also it looked so good yeah. i think all worth Thank it you. right yeah. and there was no creative sort of uh Uh, guidance to you or any limitations ki ye nahi karna ye karna hai ya ye colors use karne hai no usually with corporate when there's a corporate yeah. involved you have this color 
coding right you know we saw the coke ki bottle to kahin ki padi hui thi woh sahi hai we forgive you for that it's not sahi hai jitna diya hai coke studio ne coke ki bottle bilkul it's very subtle actually it is very subtle it is very subtle to aur koi nahi tha budget ki koi restriction nahi thi budget ka tha they said okay this is how much you have right. and um, zulfi is very good to work with because he's very collaborative he mm. likes to he kind of paints a picture of you know so okay this is my canvas mm. now you take it and run with it right and so um i worked on that idea for quite a while so 3 weeks was a sort of production time but i'd been kind of just it's a uh, gestating the idea for uh, a couple of months before that then uh working with hashim then presenting to the mm. brand so i had this like about 45 page pitch deck <laughs> with my concept with the plans yeah. with like you know references and images right, and so on right. so we really went deep with it and throughout zoo people was very supportive and he said you do Great, what great, you want to do great. and this is a great idea and I think yeah. things only work when somebody who's in charge delegates and then trusts you know Yeah exactly okay, I mean, that's the difference between a leader and a Absol- boss absolutely. you know you a leader lets you kind yeah, of yeah, do yeah, your thing yeah, yeah. And come up So uh, tell me without going into the uh, specifics of the numbers a, an average music video for example abhi most recent humne dekhi hai notanki mm-hmm. Hasan Rahim Yeah what would the cost of that be compared to the cost of uh, directing and creating Kana Yaari So Kanayari is also more expensive because we needed several days on the set on the right. floor not just to construct mm-hmm. it but also to rehearse it and get the walls moving and okay. get that mechanism happening. Okay. Um I couldn't really tell you but I I mean uh, Hassan's video is phenomenal the yeah, Kanayari yeah, video absolutely. is absolutely phenomenal. Well, that's why I mentioned by, him because it's not yeah. just a plain video it's this things happening in the video as yes. well. Yes. And yeah. I love the way that they've put in so much thought and really orchestrated and there's also you can tell there's so much choreography there's timing yeah. and he's interacting with the set yeah and uh, it's a wonderful wonderful vi- video and we need more of these sort of ideas that are out of the box so i really feel performance based videos have had their run right it's not that interesting to no, see no, no. you know uh, just on one set to randomly have just your camera move Would around and you know it's coming me gaar hai mic leke exactly and acha tha theek tha it, 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 that was inspired by live performances yeah. right and they wanted to translate that energy into mm. a music video mm. i get that mm. but that was 40 years ago you yeah. know so now i think the idea of music videos has to really take off in that the video itself must bring something new right it's really absolutely crucial are we struggling creatively now i'm talking about creative art beyond music right and of course you 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 studied film direction I as have. well and you're heading in that good yeah hena yes is it like bye bye music and well on a no it's not bye bye but like it's it's bit of a it's taken a bit of a back seat so true brew has taken a back seat true brew have shut down you shut definitely down. <laughs> maybe i'll bring her back no, someday no true brew like karachi version i thought about it but not at this stage no yeah i think Right now my focus is very much on screenwriting and directing. Right. And, uh, and you studied screenwriting and directing. Yes, I did. Right. And you know that it requires a lot of attention, it requires mm. a lot of focus. It's a very deep especially writing um and where I am at this stage working on these scripts. Mm. You need a lot of time, you need a lot of dedication and right. a lot of discipline right. to come up with uh, a decent even a semi decent right. screenplay. So, yeah. you know, I I think I would rather apply my creative energy there right now. So do you plan to work with people or do you plan to like produce your own film? I would love to have producers cuz <laughs> I don't like to produce. Right. Um uh, I have been fortunate to work with some good producers in the past and right now I'm working with the producers of Lal Kabooter, Hanya right. and Kamal Chima. Yes. The three of us have been working on a limited series script uh for the last year and a half. Nice. And we're we're almost done with the pilot. All right. So we're very sort of you know right. uh neck deep into that right. and that's been a really rewarding and really fun and very very openly collaborative right. process do you think the digital world has opened up possibilities and is better i fear that we're losing the art of storytelling how do you feel about that well um digital in the sense of streaming i think for pakistan is really um an ideal scenario mm. because it uh, it it's th- that happy middle ground between cinema and tv yeah. where you have that high end content but you also uh have long form storytelling right so um we're all waiting for one of the giants to kind of say all right you know pakistan what if you got um but really that that I, i think it's a few years away now right um, although the giants are creating a lot of bad content as well they are because they are i mean i think i think for them again 
I, I was mentioning this earlier, mm. you know, traditionally like a record label would cast the net wide. Yeah. They would uh, hire, they would sign every kind of artist, every kind of genre. And mm. then out of that, one or two big artists like a Michael Jackson or a Madonna would come out and end up sort of justifying all of that investment. Right. Pay for literally everyone right. else on the roster. So I think they kind of feel the same where they want something for everyone, mm. you know, and... Uh, I guess sometimes that can result in their resources being spread a little thin and mm. sometimes the quality declining. And we do have a movie called Mission Majnu coming out yeah, in December. Yeah. It's going to be a riot <laughs> to watch <laughs> not it. Not, not the good kind. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. No, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, they've huh. made satire right. unintentionally. Unintentionally, yeah. <laughs> so, love it, love yes, it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I no, don't. So, I mean, uh, right now, Netflix India is very much sort of uh, its own thing and they, they're yeah. creating content for themselves and it's some of that content bleeds over here in terms of uh, yeah, what resonates. Yeah, I feel that when you look at Indian content, there's this drive yeah. of ideas and they want to create... I mean, I just watched this film, Kala, two days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And visually, it is spectacular. Right. I mean, oh my God. Right. It's like the entire landscape is a third character right. in, that, in the narrative. And yeah. It's beautiful. I feel that hasn't kicked in our storytelling yet. Our drama, if you look at our dramas, hmm. only Samad Khusar's Kamli last year. Yeah. You know, the, the landscape was, was part of the narrative. Yeah. It was like created. It was beautiful. Yeah. Um, or recently I saw this video of uh, Sukoon. Beautifully yeah. shot, you know, yeah, with the absolutely. colors and everything. Yeah. Otherwise, no. I think there is a tendency to be conservative with creativity. Things right. that have worked in the past ought to work indefinitely yeah. but I think another thing that Coke Studio 14 has showed us is that taking big risks means big rewards yes and really I think we're at that sort of precipice of needing big rewards at mm. this point content is huge online everything is about whatever exists and essentially this generation that's that's grown up on the internet mm. is uh, you, you, if you're competing for attention from them mm. you have to compete on the level that the content online exists at right uh, which includes Netflix and Amazon, Amazon and all the giants and so on. Yeah. So really, I think, um, and also in the sense that, you know, recently we've seen one or two very, very high level pieces of work. Uh, Cake and Churayal's by Asim Abbasi, yes, yes. Maula Jad right now, Bilal oh, Lashari, uh, Joyland by Saim Sadiq. Yes. You know, these are films that have really tread new ground, films and series that have tread new ground that was uh, before unseen right Absolutely. so there's a lot of room like the way that I see the landscape right now is that we have the sort of uh, Bollywood inspired commercial cinema and then we have our uh, drama serials yeah. and there's nothing in between in mm. terms of genre in terms of exploration you know there's a whole sort of wide open market there mm. we don't have uh, interesting thrillers we don't have detective stories we don't have franchise models we have sort of an empty vacant space absolutely. here which at the same time is very exciting because that means opportunity yeah, absolutely right? yeah absolutely yeah. and i just started watching this new series on netflix kaleidoscope yeah 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 it's like what it should be seven episodes if it's a kaleidoscope you right, know, right. Like, but it's <laughs> like you can watch any episode and every viewer in any will be order, all yeah. given in any order and yeah. How amazing is that? That's really creative, That's right? That's really creative. Although somebody who was watching it recently said that um, the first episode they got into wasn't very good. So they oh, had to like watch a few episodes in to get to into get it. To get into it. But you know, it's it's crazy that they can yeah. do something like that now. But and also that program with Ranveer Singh. Yeah. In which uh, it was interactive and you could choose which task and we would, right. which direction. Choose your own adventure in. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Those books from when we, when I was a kid, at least, huh. uh, were, were a big favorite. But yeah, so digital is very big. Uh, Netflix did that other show's name, I'm forgetting, which is very much like Choose Your Own Adventure. Choose you Your Own your, Adventure, absolutely. Your choices, you know, and yeah. it would lead to different results. Absolutely. Um, but we don't even have to go that far right now. I think right, what we really need, essentially, is good contemporary storytelling. Hmm. And really, when, if we focus on writing good films and good TV series, we can do so much more with our right, media right. Um, and because technically in terms of production in terms of production value we're mm -hmm. there we have the cameras we have the lights we have the equipment do we though we do we very do. much so okay. a okay. very very international standard okay we what we don't have necessarily is uh the more elaborate uh grips and things for stunt work right or stunt people right or very high-end vfx people but all of that can be outsourced Mola Jat, for example, outsourced a stunt team. Absolutely. And did a phenomenal VFX job. Was outsourced. Yeah, it did a phenomenal job. Yeah. So that is stuff that we can still 
import, if mm. not uh, build uh, in, into our industry. Right. But there's so much more that can be done without those things. Mm. So many genres and stories that can be explored without that. Mm. And especially at a sort of even keel with the stuff that's online. Mm. If not, maybe a few notches below yeah. you know, or a few notches higher, yeah. somewhere around that range. Yeah. There's all of that opportunity left. Absolutely. And yeah. like I said before, Mission Majnu. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if, if they can produce something like that. Yeah, yeah. Is it our ready. turn? Is it our turn to do a spy drama and have like our guys go there? <laughs> I mean, have you seen the trailer? I have. I have. Yeah. Bits and pieces yeah. of it. It's like I love quiet. the wardrobe with the topi, topi and the, the tavi, and the surma, and the, the janab, and yeah, the adab. And adab. <laughs> Guys, we don't behave like that anymore. No. We do stuff like Kanayari. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so back to Kanayari. I think there's this huge, really cool generation that is yeah. willing and ready to push the boundaries, creative boundaries. Um, they need support. Yeah. They need the producers. And, and the audience is there now. Absolutely. The yeah. audience is there. And there, there is always room for the, uh, the, the rom-com. Yeah, you know, say it. वो बाहर भी बनता है, यहाँ भी बनता है. Christmas आती है, आपकी फिल्मों पे फिल्में आ रही होती हैं. Those holiday movies are yeah. super, super, super. क्या कहते हैं? Successful. Yeah. And um, but then there needs to be room for new thought and new, thought. new visuals yeah. and you know creativity yeah. and ideas. Yeah, absolutely. Ideas. And I think it requires bravery to get out there and say, okay, well, this is working, but I'm not going to do this. I'm yeah, going to do something entirely absolutely, new. Absolutely, absolutely. It takes a brave soul and a Brave investor. <laughs> brave investor. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. What yeah. we need most is brave investors. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, People who are willing to take a risk, but then also get big rewards in return. Absolutely. Yeah. So what do we see from you next, Jamal? Well, I'm working on a couple of short films that I hope to put into production. One of which I hope to put into production okay. this year. Okay. What is the genre going to be? Uh, the genre is a, an offshoot of crime. Okay. Um, but uh, and based in Karachi, of course. Because of course. You know, why not? But uh, you're not going to be making another Lal Kabutar, right? No, not at all. Wow. It's very different because. It's it's in it's it utilizes the backdrop of what would be um, a young couple who has been forced into sort of a life of crime, uh, but it's essentially about their relationship with the backdrop of that, okay, and how they fall prey to uh, manipulations by certain third parties. Okay, yeah, it's a very sort of um, it kind of, think of it like a psychological drama. I guess. So is it yeah. made for cinema or digital space? Or? For film festivals. For yeah. film festivals. Yeah, nice. Nice, 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 nice. This yeah. is what you're working on now. That's what I'm currently working currently on. Working and on. then... No um, more music videos? Um, well, I'm speaking to a few musicians. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really say who at That's this point. That's fine. But why don't you say which musicians do you really have high hopes on? Oh, uh, there's quite a few. I would love to work with Manu, Hassan Rahim, mm. Abdullah Siddiqui, And you have Abdul worked Hanan. with all of them, right? Yeah. I haven't worked with Hassan Rahim and right. Abdul Hanan as yet. And Manu and I have not done a music video as yet. Ever we since, worked yeah. on music quite a bit. Right. Uh, where we were talking recently and maybe that will come mm. to fruition. Mm. And um, yeah, these are some of the... Natasha Nurani I'd love course, to work with. Um, you know, some of the, these artists that are really doing exciting work. Mm. Um, are also kind of looking to do exciting things in yeah, terms of video. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's it's a promising new generation it that's is, coming yeah. up, right? Very exciting. And uh, happy, good to have people like you who are willing to take risks, you know. Thank you. And not fall in in line with what's popular. It's harder that way. It I is, have to it admit, is, but, but absolutely yeah, is. I think it's important to also hold strong to your ideals. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you. Thank Amma. you. It was really great celebrating a year of Kanayari. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, I hope that we'll see new and exciting work from you soon. Thank you. I hope so. And don't take too long. I, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> don't take too long. Yeah. You've moved from, you made the move from Lahore to Karachi. Yes. And you're based Faster here. paced city. So maybe I'll, my yeah, output yeah, yeah. will also increase. Hana? You know? Hana, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Your, your, your <laughs> tempo will absolutely increase. Yeah. And thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.